from RPG, Bell Logan here. In this video, we're gonna talk about a strategy for solving the vault. Now, I had previously done a sneak peek of the vault when it was in alpha before it came to live. There's been a few changes since that video, and so I think it's worth talking about. And then I wanted to address a couple issues that I've seen come up with some common mistakes some users have made, and then some assumptions about number combinations that we've seen discussed as well in, in chat. So the first major change is the colors were changed to green, to uh, yellow and blue. And what that means is yellow means that the number is in the sequence, blue means that the number is in the correct spot. So that was opposed to, was it green and red? I can't remember the colors before. <laughs> Maybe I should have looked that up uh, on alpha. Another change is the way that numbers will show up if you have repeat numbers that are in the pattern, or I should say numbers that aren't repeated, but you've guessed repeated in your guess. So in this case, uh, and this is in the library page on, on the vault, we've got the number five, and in the second guess here, we see number five is in the sequence because it's yellow. And then in the third sequence, five was guessed every single number. And then notice the five shows up blue only where it's appropriate. And that's the only five in the sequence. And so the other fives go gray. Prior, those would have been yellow as well. And so you could have deduced that, you know, that was the only five. But this way, if you have two of a number in here and one of them is gray and one of them is blue, you know that that number does not repeat anywhere in the sequence. All right, and then we get the guess 9999 here. And so it looks like they never guessed zero. So probably it's zero as they're repeating in the other. Yeah, there's two segments on, on the uh, one shown in here. The library page has a pretty good strategy entering combinations one, two, three, four, then five, six, seven, eight. And that leaves everything but nine and zero to still guess. And then there's a breakdown of, I'm not sure what this spoiler is for, for fun. But uh, because you love numbers, here's just a list of how many different combinations there are where all four numbers are unique, where there's one pair, where there's two pairs, three of a kind, four of a kind. All right, the other thing I wanna point out is once you know where a number is in the sequence, you don't want to keep guessing it in that spot. You wanna use that spot for learning new information. So here's a screenshot that's posted on Discord by a user where we had five that was figured out as the second number here, and then they kept putting five in the sequence. Once the number eight was, they kept it in the sequence. Once the number four was, they kept it in the sequence. Ideally, what you want to do, once you know that five is here, for example, on your second guess, don't put five here again until you are ready to make your final guess. Unless you're going to do two fives just to see if it was repeated and then maybe try some other numbers. Especially if this was early on, like if this was in the first guess and three was in the right spot and you keep putting three afterwards, you have locked yourself to only three slots to try other numbers now. And so you couldn't try all of four, five, six, seven in the next guess because you'd be putting your three in again. Well, that's just a waste. So just another thing to point out. Once you know where a slot number is, generally use that to test other numbers now. Another discussion that came up was what number is going to show up the most in, in these combinations? The discussion kind of took the direction. I don't remember who was talking about it. Not important, but they said the zero has got to be the most common number. And the reason for that was because if I've got 0001, or if one is my number that's selected by the random number generator, I've got three zeros that are inserted and, and filled in here. And then two would have three more zeros. So zero must show up according to that much more than every other number because by the time I get here out to 1000, I've got all my zeros. I filled in a bunch of extra zeros for all those extra sequences. So on the surface, that maybe makes sense. And their justification was to start zero, one, two, three, because zero must be the most common. Well, if we think about that a little bit, that's actually not true. You've got digits zero through nine, so 10 combinations, and you've got four slots. And so if we were to do all solutions from zero, 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 zero to nine, 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 that means that every slot would go through all of the digits and you would end up using every digit 4,000 times. But we don't start at 0, 0, 0, 0. We start at 0, 0, 0, 1. And so 0 actually gets used four times less than every other number because we don't have that 0, 0, 0, 0 as a possible solution. Now that's a very simplified way to think about it. That's not how I came up with it. I actually <laughs> wrote a quick Python script to go through and count from one to 9999. So in a Python loop, it doesn't hit the last number. And then if it was zero, it would fill in, or if it was one, it would fill in the other zeros. And then uh, what this would do, I'm missing a line in here. There we go. All right, so I've initialized this ray num counts and each indice in this represents the digit. So if I'm addressing uh, address zero in this, it's the zero spot. If I'm addressing one, it's the one spot. So basically then I just go through and for each digit, I count, I convert it to a string so I can get the right length here. And then I insert the zeros and then I loop through that string and for each digit in there, I increment the, the counter for which box it lines up with for your digits zero through nine. So you run this and you can see, if I scroll down here a little bit, start off with zero, 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 one, zero, 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 two, 
goes through, counts all of these up. Roller wheels. Okay, there we go. So here you have it, exactly four less zeros. There's three, nine, nine, six zeros in all the possible combinations, and then 4,000 of everything else. So zero the most important? No, actually, as it turns out, very marginally, zero is the least important one to. to. All right, so now they've talked about it a little bit. Let's come do a couple here. So I come to town, I'm gonna come to the vault. And we're just gonna start off one, two, three, four, and put these in. All right, so I know four is in this spot, and I know there's a three somewhere in the combination. Now there could be repeating four, there could be repeating three, I don't know that yet. For now, I'm just gonna leave that as is and get my extra numbers out. So next we're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. All right, and I know a five is here. So I wanna find out if nine and zero are in the sequence. So I'm gonna use these blue spots for nine and for zero. Um, three has to be in this spot. I know that now. Um, and this spot can't be three. So it's gonna be something else. Um, now it's possible that five and four, five or four are repeated. So this spot right here, I'm gonna do either five or four. So let's start off nine. And let's see, let's do it this way. Let's do, I know this spot's gonna be a three. So it really doesn't matter what I put here. So I'm going to go five, four, zero. We're going to try those numbers. Okay, so I know zero's in the sequence. And now I can pretty much guess this at this point. So I know the first slot has to be five. The second one has to be three because it's not this slot. And we know the first and last one are filled in, so that's three. I've got a zero that has to be this slot by default. And then the last one is four. So there we go. There's my code. That one's pretty easy. Only took a couple of guesses to get. Um, I've got enough ancient coins. We can try this again. Let's do one more. I'm going to start off one, two, three, four. Again, I know four is that last digit. None of these other numbers are in the combination. So five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this one's going to be too easy. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> so it's possible this could be five or six or four, and that would actually make it more complicated. Um, but I don't know about nine and zero yet. So we're just going to fill in... Nine zero. If it's one of those numbers, we know it's in this slot by default. And then I want to find out, we'll just do double fives here. We'll find out if this spot is five or not. Okay, it's not five, but there is a zero in the sequence. So once again, I now totally know the sequence. So five, six, zero, four is what it has to be. Sweet. And there's my vault. Let me go grab just a couple ancient coins and we'll be right back. All right, so I opened up uh, a couple treasure chests in the locksmith that my uh, lovely brown bear has been bringing so we can unlock another one. And let's try this again, see if we get something a little more interesting. Okay, so none of my first digits are in there. We know five is in there and that's all we know. So let's try nine, zero, five, five. Okay. So we know a five is here. Because this is gray, we know this is the only five. We know a zero is here. I know nine doesn't go here, so nine has to go here. So that means this first slot, we know it's not nine, we know it's not five, zero is the only other number of the combination, so it has to be zero, zero, nine, five. There we go, the vault is unlocked. Let's do one more, that one was a little interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to do this without even worrying about the results. And oh, this one was ridiculously easy. <laughs> uh, we know two's here. We know that's seven, that's eight. And we know six is the combination that has to be the first slot. Two, six, seven, eight. Let me make sure I didn't do a typo there. Six, two, seven, eight. Yep. Okay. Well, that was too easy. We'll try one more. Five, six, seven, eight. All right. So the only question here now is, is this slot a nine or a zero, or is it one of these other numbers repeating? So we're just gonna go nine, zero, one, one. All right, it's a one. So a nine and zero aren't in the combination. So one, two, one, eight is my final combination. All right, so a couple examples of going through the vault. I'm probably gonna save the rest of these coins for spin on Borgen's will, going for that advancement or achievement of 500 spins on it.
But there you go. That is a quick overview and strategy guide and some examples of how to solve the vault. Hopefully you find that useful. As always, thanks for watching.